Next up on our final prediction, we have got Clemson, your national champion. A very interesting team going into the 2019 season. Really looking forward to seeing how they do. Uh, will they win another national championship? That's what we're going over today. Clemson went 15-0 last season, and that, they were actually the first team to ever go 15-0. Uh, so that was a big achievement for them. A few strong spots for 2019 with this team. Trevor Lawrence returns at quarterback. Uh, he is probably the best quarterback in all of college football, I'd say right now. And for him being as young as he is, I believe that he's got a very bright future. Etienne is back at running back. He's very, uh, very strong. Very strong running back, very dangerous. Um, very loaded at wide receiver as well for this Clemson team. Watch out for the receiving core as well. Trevor Lawrence has got options. Offense will be dangerous as usual, and they also have a great coaching staff to go with it. I mean, Dago Sweeney, I'd say, is, I mean, him and Nick Saban are definitely the two best coaches in all of college football. I believe that will be the case for quite a while. A few weak spots now. The defensive line has a loss or two, but the good young players. They've got they do have good young players to replace them, so that is something. I don't think defensive line will be much of an issue, especially with their offense. Um, but with the defense, you also got to be very balanced. I mean, really, I mean, line, linebacker and cornerback could be two positions that could be reduced. Once again, this recruiting for this team is excellent, and I think that they still will be fine, even though they're losing a few players on this defense. The defensive line also has a couple losses, but they're also in the same situation as the defensive line. They've got young players to back them up. And I think they'll be okay in those positions. I mean, if the defensive line can continue to improve, that's even better for Trevor Lawrence. And at this point, you want to protect Trevor Lawrence as much as you can. Because if Lawrence gets injured, who knows where their season goes. But I don't think it's going to a national championship again uh, for the next year or so. Yeah, you, that that's another thing that you got to handle. And then also, if he's got protection, that's huge for him to be able to be in the pocket and to be able to pass. Um, that's another reason why an offensive line is very important, in my opinion, for both a quarterback and a team, especially. But now, looking at their schedule for next season, they've got a few tough games on here, a few tricky ones. But I think, really, they should fly through the schedule 12-0. I think this is probably one of the only teams I'm expecting to go undefeated next season. Georgia Tech at the beginning of the season, that should be a win. Uh, that is going to be on Thursday, so that's going to be a couple of days before the season really actually kicks off and then you got Texas A&M then on September 7th that will be an interesting one and Clemson has home field advantage there that's what's really going to be able to give them the win there if it was on the road that would be a much tougher game Syracuse then on the road on September 14th um, I think they'll be interesting as well but I don't expect Syracuse to be quite as good as they were last season they win that game as well Charlotte North Carolina both should be pretty easy games but the thing is though with North Carolina they are a tricky team being on the road and now they've got Mac Brown. Who knows that what Mac Brown will pull up there, but I do expect that still to be a pretty easier win for Clemson. Florida State on October 12th will be another interesting one. It's at home, so Clemson gets the win there. Even though it definitely will be close there as well. Louisville, Boston College, Walford, I think they'll blow through those three games. NC State, another interesting one. If an, if an upset happens, it's either gonna happen against NC State or South Carolina. One of those two games, they're both on the road and they're both dangerous for sure, so watch out for one of those two games. But I do expect them still to go 12 0 overall. Those five games are games that are going to be tough wins, meaning I think they'll win it, I think Clemson will win it, but it'll be by 13 or below points. Uh, so just something to note there. Clemson goes 12 0 next season. Not a whole lot to say about the schedule otherwise. I mean, once again, I mean, that Syracuse game could be, a, it could be a trap game, but I don't really expect it to be at this point right now. Your five major games for Clemson going into next season, your five most important ones in my opinion are all of the yellow games once again. Texas, <clears throat> Texas A&M, Syracuse, Florida State, NC State, and South Carolina. Just something to note there as well. But anyway, that is it for this video on Clemson and their final predictions. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this team in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think on this team. Of course, I mean, I expect them to possibly win a national championship. I think they'll definitely get to the playoff. I would be absolutely stunned if this team did not make the playoff next season. I mean, they've got a perfect schedule to get there. The ACC isn't real strong. Um, I mean, that can deter you from making the college football playoff here if your conference isn't as strong. I mean, they've got teams in there that they play on the road. I mean, South Carolina will be pretty good next season. They'll have a few key victories on that schedule, but I think that 
I mean, if you have two losses, that probably that probably ruins your chances. But I think Clemson still should either go 11 and one or 12 and 0. And I still think they'll make the playoff, even though if they have one loss. But yeah, definitely Clemson's gonna be a team that's gonna contend for it. And I'd expect Clemson. I'd expect Clemson to once again be a great team going into next season as well. If you disagree with that, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm sure there are many other uh, opinions on Clemson, so let me, know guys, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Stay tuned for more final previews. we got more coming in the coming days, and stay tuned for more from ASC.